Hey guys, welcome back to RK Tutors. In this video, you will learn how to make a professional floor plan render in Photoshop that can make your clients very happy. So let's begin. So I have imported this cat drawing in uh, Photoshop. Let's make a background uh, with with the color fill. Keep it white. Okay. So this is the plan here. I'm going to rename this to DWG the drawing now at first I will select the parts where the green would come or the grass would come so I'm going to use the magic wand to select the parts here okay I'll refine this later select here Let's refine the selection from here. Just yeah. So now we have selected the part where the grass is going to come. So I'm going to make a layer and the color fill. You can also add in the values for a specific color. And this is the color I want. That's okay. So now I'm going to actually import a layer, a bitmap for the grass. This is it. Just drag and drop into Photoshop. Just like that. Resize this. So it covers the whole part where the grass is. And it's a high quality image so it will look good hide this now since I'm into this layer let's make this selection where there's no color and now click on to group and what I will do is I will add a mask to this group and since now we are in this mask right here I can delete this selected portion just press the delete so as you see from the mask the selected portion is neglected now I take these two layers one is a grass another is this color and I drag and drop it in this group turn this on and you see the only part that is visible in the mask shows this texture the grass texture so this way you can actually apply textures in project in Photoshop to make it a little more realistic I will add another mask to this layer here and in the mask let's go to a brush select some um, dark color and maybe I have some different type of brushes that you can also uh, download so maybe I'll select this one scale just resize this brush so in this brush I've adjusted the opacity to perhaps 15 So this way you can actually make the grass a little more realistic it's like it's a little dry at some places increase the opacity a little bit now it's looking much much better so you see if i disable this layer mask how it looks and enable it basically looks better let's rename this group to green and close this so here we have a water body in this plan so let's select this go to a new layer I'm going to fill a color 
I'll add on the values for the color something that I've done before as well press OK so let's make a group for water name this water and again as I did earlier I'm going to add a mask layer to this make a selection of this water body and now inverse selection you can use the shortcut control shift i to make the inverse selection now i'm going to go to this mask and hit delete let's drag this group down and drag this layer into this group and let's add an adjustment layer to this group click here go to brightness and I think around 40 it's okay so let's add another adjustment layer to this from here I select hue and saturation drag the lightness to 6 and saturation to about 30 35 or 36 this looks better so you can actually download any of the water maps from Google that you can use I have this one that I'm going to be using so just drag and drop this into Photoshop so it actually looks pretty realistic I'll adjust the opacity to 70 move this around a little bit I think this looks better here and I'll make another layer and go to brush select a spherical brush with the color selected to white maybe I'll add some reflection to this like this change the opacity a little bit Okay, it looks better like this or maybe a little more okay this is better so we are done with the water now let's add a color to the walls select the walls I'll use the wand tool to actually select all these walls And now all the walls are selected I'll make a new layer and fill this use the shortcut shift plus backspace to go to a fill command and I'll fill black color to this let's rename this to walls let's add a backdrop to this whole plan so after then we can actually work inside this plan so I'll select this outer portion go to a new layer and go to fill command and select a gray color perhaps this is fine yeah that's okay and I'm going to make a new group for this and add a mask to this group so to select the inverse you can hit the keys control shift and I so now the inverse is selected and from this mask I'm going to delete that portion let's drag and drop this layer to this group name this group I'll name it surroundings so I have a JPEG that I want to use uh, for this surroundings just drag and drop to Photoshop resize the image it'll give a pretty good look to this uh, image 
apply and I'm going to change the fill to maybe 30 maybe 35 percent so as you see this looks pretty cool let's add another layer in this group and what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken these edges from the plan so go to brush select the black color I'm going to add opacity to this maybe 50% that looks good okay now to the image that we added the texture image I'm going to add a mask select the black color go to a brush change the brush opacity so this will add a little smoothness on the corners of the image let's add another layer to this group let's select the white color let's highlight some uh, corners of this image with the opacity set to maybe 50 maybe I'll decrease the opacity of this probably to 20 so it looks good so let's walk into the interior of this drawing with the wand tool I'm going to pick all this interior spaces where I have to fill the color What here I want to do is I want to deselect this part. Go to new layer and fill the color. Let's fill in some values. This looks good. And for the washrooms, I'll actually select that part wherever there's a bathroom and right click and click on layer Y cut what it'll do is it'll actually cut that portion from that layer so you see it's separated so I can name this as bathroom and this is interior space so let's change the color of this bathroom layer I'm going to go to color overlay and select the color here let's fill in 180 5 86 where this color looks perfect So let's also add a color to this uh, drive through here. Select this by one command. And here I will actually deselect some portion out of it. So click on the new layer to make a new layer. And I'll fill a color uh, to this, maybe a little gray. Uh, not as dark press ok so I'll make a group of this click on group type in drive through make the inverse selection and add a mask to this group from here I'm going to delete that part selected and drag and drop this layer to the drive through so basically I have a bitmap that I'm going to add 
it'll look good on it and adjust the opacity to maybe 20 or maybe a little more okay this looks a lot better now right now this is a smart object let's turn this into a layer if you go to eraser and click on this it'll show you this option basically you have to click ok so now this is turned into a layer so i'm going to select this part of it and click on layer y cut and readjust its opacity to maybe 25 or maybe 20. and increase the opacity here to 35 so that there's some uh, difference in the color because of the height so to the deck let's select this part here Okay, once the selection is made, click on the new layer and add a color to this. So maybe I'll go with something around here. Feels okay. And let's make a group. Name it deck. Drag and drop this layer into this. Let's turn the all the other groups off for now. So in this group, I'll add a bitmap. First, let's just make this selection. Add a mask to this group and delete the selection. Now let's add a bitmap. So I have this bitmap that I'll be adding. Just drag and drop. And let's adjust the opacity to maybe 20. Okay, maybe 40. Okay, this looks better. So next part is basically adding shadows to this plan. So what I've done is actually made a model of this in SketchUp. Let's add that shadow. This is that shadow from the SketchUp model. Open this with Photoshop. Like the shadow. Make a layer copy of this and drag and drop to this file. Rotate this. And we have to scale it. So let's apply this and make this a multiply and I'm going to change its opacity to maybe 30 maybe 50 okay it looks a lot better now you can also import the interior shadow from the walls or you can actually make this in Photoshop. To do that, first let's make a group. I'll name it Shadow. Shadows. Drag and drop this layer into this group. And make another layer. And this will be Interior Shadow. To make that you can actually select the parts from the wall it's like this
Hit the shortcut Shift plus Backspace to fill the color and give the opacity to this maybe 20 so it looks pretty good I think so this way you can actually add the shadows on the interior walls if you want And let's now select this uh, part of the staircase that's left. So go to this interior space. Select the color. Okay. So it's already looking very good. Next thing you can do is basically add some trees to this green or the wherever the grass is so it'll look better so I have this tree PNG you can actually download PNGs for trees so let's add a tree to this front yard press alter to basically copy this and I'll resize this this one's good to the backyard it's good to basically create a group specifically for trees and add this tree layers to this group Press Alt to basically copy the tree, resize this, and let's add some bushes also. So you can basically play around adding these trees and bushes or whatever you actually want to add. So this actually makes makes it look even better. Let's adjust the watercolor a little bit. Just turn this group off. Go to water. So now it actually looks better. At last you can actually add text to this Photoshop file that you can import from AutoCAD. So let's do that. So here we have added the text to this uh, drawing to make it look even better. This is one of the best presentation drawings you can actually make to make your client happy. And last but not least, you can also add add the scale to this drawing. So basically, it's only a scale line, and we have added effects on it. That is the stroke. I'll keep it to 4 press ok and same thing you can actually do with the north select this uh, and I'll basically make a layer by cut I'll copy the layer state and paste it on this so that'll make it look even better 
last part to do is basically to add a text let's say ground floor plan we adjust the size to maybe 20 pixels You can make it bold if you want. Maybe I'll adjust the size to 15. So this actually looks good. Also do not forget to, uh, to basically write the text about the scale. Let's say it is 2 feet. We adjust the size. So this is basically four feet. And this will be eight feet. So this is how you can actually add scale or this could be in meters. That's one way to do it. We've also added cars in this parking. So let us know what you think about this rendering of a floor plan in Photoshop. You can add a comment to the comment section. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel.